Today I am going to show you how I did this makeup look. I would say this is like an evening look, um, not a super formal night out, but just a night where you want to look a little a little nicer than just every day. So uh, if you keep watching, I did a voiceover, tried something new. I just thought it would go quicker instead of trying to talk while I was putting makeup on because that's just not how I normally do it. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye guys. Okay, let's get started here. This is the Pixi Flawless and Poreless Primer. I'm just gonna squeeze some of that out. I mainly focus it on the middle of my face and then just blend out whatever's left. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation and I'm applying that with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Just dab a little bit of that on there and start blending it in. Now I did speed up the video a little bit, but I do take a while to apply the foundation. I just want a good, even base. I want everything to be blended out. And as you can see, I had a couple of pimples on there, and this foundation has great coverage. It covers them almost right up. So just keep blending, blending. Okay, so don't forget to blend down the neck just to make a nice transition. Make sure there's no lines at the edge of the face. Put some on the lips and we're ready to go. Now here's the benefit Stay Don't Stray and this is an eye primer. Um, but I like to use it under the eyes for my concealer and anywhere that I'm going to put the concealer. It just makes a good base, makes the uh, concealer stick nicely. And it's just what I do. So I'm just blending it in. And now I'm ready for my concealer. This is the Erase Paste by Benefit. It's in medium. And I'm applying it with my Sigma P80, which is a synthetic flat top little mini kind of kabuki brush. So I just pat it under the eyes. Pat, 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 pat. And my pimple there, my pimple there, there and just around the edges of my nose. And now I like to blend all of this in with just the warmth of my fingertips. I find that it blends the best that way. It doesn't appear cakey or anything. So I just tap, 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 blend it in. And this is the Smashbox Photo Set Finishing Powder with another Sigma Synthetic Brush. This is the P84. It's an angled brush. So I like to set my concealer with this uh, finishing powder. I find it does a great job under my eyes and uh, on any other spot that's concealed on my face. So this is the Smashbox Halo Perfecting Powder. I just take this with a Quo, uh, Quo brush and I'm just setting my foundation. So I just pat it, pat it on the areas where I put concealer and where there's no concealer, um, I just blend it and buff it in down the neck. This is the MAC Powder Blush in Harmony. Now I'm going to start to do a little bit of contouring. This is just a cool brush that came in a set, doesn't have a name or anything. So I'm just contouring my cheekbones here and up into my temples. And I'm going to do my chin line, that jaw line I should say. This is the Spashbox Contour Palette. I'm taking the contour brush that came with uh, the palette. I take the darkest color and do a little bit of deeper contouring into the cheekbones, up into the temple. It just defines the cheeks, makes the face appear a little bit thinner, the jaw a little bit, and then I usually always contour my nose. Just makes it look longer and thinner. Just a little quirk of mine. Do the tip of the nose there. Then I take a matte MAC Matte Bronzer and I just apply just a little bit to the brush, not even a lot, but I just use this to blend out all the contour powder to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything. And I blend it down my neck and I take the contour palette again. I take the lightest color on my fingertip and I just run it down to highlight the tip of my nose. And This is the Benefit Hervana blush and this is just a Quo blush brush from the professional line but it's a travel size. So I twirl it in there, first apply it 
directly onto my cheekbones and then I blend it down a little bit towards the apple of my cheeks. And this is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Blonde. This is a MAC 187 brush and I just dab it on the slightest bit and just highlight the top of my cheekbones. And this is just a kabuki and I just blend it all in. So now this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in the color Sin. It's more of a shimmery color. And then I'm taking the Naked One palette and the Naked color using a Sigma SS217 brush and just applying that as a highlight under the brow. And this is the Smashbox Brow Tech in Blonde and I'm just taking a Oh, I'm taking a break, apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm just taking a brow brush from Quo, and I'm just gonna start to define my brows. So, this isn't like the only way to apply makeup, but I'm just showing you, you know, what I do, so. So, just fill them in. And there's one done and one not done, so you can really see how it really frames the face. I have one eyebrow that's a little higher than the other, so I try to bring that one down and bring the other one up a little bit, if that makes any sense. Sorry if you can't get the best view, I'm just trying to look in a mirror so that I can get a better view than just the preview on my camera. And I think we're almost done here. Now I'm going to take a brush from Real Techniques. It's the brow brush and I'm just going to brush through my brows to make it look a little more natural. And then there's a little bit of wax in the brow tech and I don't like to put it on my, all, my entire brow but I just put it right there uh, near the arch because that's where the hairs like to kind of fall down. So now onto eyeshadow. This is the Smashbox Travel Tapered Shadow Brush. And I'm taking the Naked 3 palette, and this is the color Limit. And I'm just applying that to the eyelid and blending it up a little bit into the crease. These color, uh, these shadows have great color payoff. And then I do like to put a little bit under the eye as well. And this is the MAC 217 and I'm using the color Nooner from Naked 3 again and I'm just blending that into the crease and up onto the brow bone a little bit. The darker brown color. Oh and now I'm singing a little bit. <laughs> and this is the color Mugshot again from the Naked 3 and this is the Smashbox Travel Definer brush and I'm just putting it on the outer V of my eyes. And this is a MAC 252 and it's a special edition of that. And this is the color Trick. And I'm just applying that to the mid middle of my eyelid just for a little bit of shimmer and then on the inner corner of the bottom of my eye. And this is a big fluffy blending brush that I got from a beauty box and I am just blending that all together. Now I think at this point I decided my eyes weren't dark enough and that leads us to the next step here. This is the color Black Heart from the Naked 3 palette and I'm taking again that uh, Smashbox Definer brush and I'm applying it to the outer V's of my eye. Now it looks really messy right now but just wait I blend it all out. Now I got some on my cheekbone but I will show you how I get rid of that in a minute. So I'm taking the MAC 217 again, sorry about the mirror, I was just trying to get a better view and I'm just blending it all out. Now I'm taking a little cotton swab, magic trick, get the eyeshadow flakes off of my cheekbone. This is the color Dust and I'm just taking the flat side of the brush that comes in the Naked 3 palette, putting it on the inner corner of my eye, top and bottom. And on the fluffy side of the brush, just defining a little bit more under my brow, under my eyebrow. And this is a Smashbox Precision Liner brush. Taking Braveheart again from the Naked 3 palette. 
and I'm just pressing it into my lash line on the bottom of my eyes. It just defines the eyes a little bit better. Okay, now we're gonna curl my lashes, and this is my Tweezerman um, eyelash curler. And this is my CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast Fusion Mascara. And this is the waterproof version. So I did uh, make a little boo-boo and I got some on um, the inside of my eye there, but uh, the trick is to let it dry and I'll show you how I fix it after. And also you never know if you're gonna mess up again, so you might as well clean it up all at once. And I'm doing a second coat on the top of my lashes there. So I take a little Q-tip, it's dry, you just twist it over the spot there and it's magically gone. Now my eyeliner, that's the Maybelline New York Master Precise Liner in black and it's just like a felt tip pen so you just draw a thin line there and I always wing it out just a little bit. And so I use that on the top. And then this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So do a couple sprays on my face. And this is just a Sephora lip liner in the color, I guess, 221A. I'm just lining my lips. Now I put the foundation a little bit over my lips so it kind of acts as a good primer for my lips. And I'm taking the color Strange from the Urban Decay, I mean, yeah, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I just highlighted my cupid's bow a little bit there. Oh, I needed my NARS <laughs> pencil out of my purse, I guess. So this is in Bettina, it's a velvet uh, matte lip pencil. It's kind of like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip pencil. And this is MAC Cream Sheen lipstick in Cream Cup. Okay, so we are done. Thanks for watching and here's the finished look.